Hello, my name is Robert Goldbach, and I am 83 years of age. I'm a lifelong Christian and would like to read part five of a six-part essay I wrote for my grandchildren entitled, A Few Last Words from a 21st Century Christian. What if we want to follow God's guidance and fail? What if God is unsurprised by human failure and forgives it without being asked? What if God is concerned with present and future and our failures are part of a forgiven past? What if more people shared God's forgiving nature? What if we learned to forgive ourselves as well as others? What if God's eternal purpose is achieved by those who invite God into their lives? What if God waits to be invited? What if God's spiritual presence becomes one with the person making the invitation? What if our life is transformed when we invite God into it? What if we call God's invited presence our soul? What if our soul survives physical death and remains one with a heavenly God? What if our soul is eternal? What if Jesus of Nazareth was totally inhabited by this God and through his ministry became Jesus Christ? What if he epitomized compassion, wisdom, humility, justice, mercy, forgiveness, and understanding, all elements of God's abundant love? What if by knowing Jesus Christ, we also know God. What if the enduring legacy of Jesus Christ was not that he died so that others could live, but that he revealed by his ministry an understanding of the very nature of God? What if Christians keep the legacy of Jesus Christ alive by reaching out to God and remembering Jesus Christ in the conduct of their lives? What if that includes truly loving others and overcoming evil with good. What if, like Jesus, the choices each of us make in life create a legacy for those who come after us? What if Jesus and those who were witness to his ministry were Jews, raised in the tradition of synagogue teaching? What if witnesses to the ministry of Jesus saw and heard something extraordinary that they wanted to proclaim even after his death? What if for 60 years following his death, the ministry of Jesus Christ was proclaimed in synagogues by Jews? What if during those 60 years, the ministry of Jesus Christ was enhanced by addition of miraculous acts and became legend in the Jewish tradition? What if the four gospels portraying the ministry of Jesus were influenced by synagogue teaching? and written by Jews between 40 and 80 years after his death? What if in Jewish tradition, the gospel stories often paralleled events recognizable from Old Testament books? Thank you for listening. A few last words from a 21st century Christian is available in Kindle format on Amazon.